Hey guys, welcome to Lola Loops and Stitches. This is Lola. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet a flat circle. A month ago, a friend of mine approached me asking how it was possible to make a crochet circle go flat. I, and I understood her struggle. I remember struggling when I was a beginner and I recall crocheting a circle that somehow turned into a burr nest. <laughs> That's how it looked. Fortunately, there are ways to make this happen. And today I'm going to show you a formula that is going to help you greatly. But before I continue, if you are new to this channel, like this video, subscribe, and click the bell button for notifications so you don't miss any of my tutorials. Back in school, we learned about the relationship between the diameter and circumference of a circle, remember? Likewise, there is a relationship between the growing diameter of a circle and its rim. Since the circumference or the outside edge of a circle is larger than the center, you will need to add stitches as you go. And luckily, there's a simple formula that works perfectly. Now listen carefully. Depending on the height of the stitch used, there's a perfect number increase in each round for your circle to lay flat. In other words, each stitch start with a different number of stitches. Okay, let's take a quick look. If you crochet a circle using single crochet, then that means you're going to start the circle by making six stitches. And if you start with half double crochet, then that means that it's going to be eight stitches. And if you crochet a circle using double crochet, that means that you're going to start with 11 or 12 stitches. And if it's treble, then it will be 15 or 16. Now that you have the formula of stitch increases, you need to figure out where to place them. <laughs> and no worries about all this information I'm giving you. You can find the written version of this tutorial below in the description for future reference. And just go ahead and pin it, save it, share it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to crochet a flat circle using the double crochet stitch as an example. And I'm only going to be explaining the process, assuming you already know the basics. And if you don't know how to start a circle, check my latest video where I'm showing you different methods of starting a circle for crochet. So, okay, for double crochet, the formula is that I'm going to start with 11 to 12 stitches. So I decided to start with 12 stitches. I just want to make sure that I make those 12 stitches there, that I'm not making one more or one less, okay? So for that, just count the stitches to make sure that I have 12. And in each round, I'll be adding stitches to increase as I go, but there's a way to do it. And this is the same method you're going to use for all other stitches, unless otherwise specified in a specific pattern. For the second round, you're going to add two DC in each stitch, which is doubling the number of the first round. And I'm going to start this round by making three chain as a turning point, which count as another stitch, remember? Then you're going to make a double crochet stitch right there in that first three chain stitch. That means that you have double two double crochets there. Now in the next um, double crochet stitch from the previous round, you're going to make two double crochet stitches and then you're going to continue making two double crochet stitches all across until you reach a total of 24. This is if you start with um, 12 stitches. If you start with 11 stitches, that means that you're going to have 22, okay? So make sure that numbers are accurate. And if they're not, then that means that you need to go back and revise what happened and do it again. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> For the third round, the pattern will be two double crochet and one double crochet and repeat the same pattern. Two double crochet, one double crochet two double crochet, one double crochet. You're going to start the same way you started the round two, the second round. You're going to make three chains um, turning point, which count as a stitch. You make a double crochet right next to it. So that counts now as two double crochet. So that means that you're going to make another double crochet right next to it. And you're going to continue that pattern for the until you reach 36 stitches. So make sure you know the number. So when you're done, you can count them and you know that you are accurate. Your numbers are okay. 
So it will be 36 stitches. And when I said two double crochet, one double crochet, what I mean is two double crochet once in one stitch and in the next stitch, you're going to add one double crochet. That's how it is. So this is how is the pattern. This is how the pattern start increasing, continue increasing. If now for the fourth round, it, this is going to be easier for you because you already did the second and the third round. So for this fourth one, it's going to be very easy for you to understand. Fourth round, you're going to add another DC. So it will be two DC, one DC, one DC. Two DC, one DC, one DC. What it, what it means is you're going to make two double crochet stitch in one stitch and then in the next one you're going to make one double crochet and then in the other one you're going to make one double crochet that's it that's how easy it is if you notice in the third round it was two dc and then one dc right next to and in the fourth round then it was two dc and then one dc next to and another dc in the other stitch i have a challenge for you Okay, I have a challenge. I want you to write in the comments how the fifth round should look like without looking the written version of this tutorial. Just to check if you understood what I show you in this video. So I hope you learned something new. See you next time. Hey, check out my other videos where I'm showing necessary skills needed to grow faster in the crochet world. You can find Lola Loops and Stitches on Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.